A very good morning. You're joining ITN News with me, Vibhuda Vijay Bandara. First, let's have a look at today's headlines. The World Health Organization says it is way too early to predict the end of the coronavirus epidemic. MP Ranjan Ramanayake further remanded. Israel is keen to strengthen bilateral relations with Sri Lanka. Online application system for all school examinations. And from news overseas, UN lists firms linked to illegal Israeli settlements in West Bank. And now for the news in detail. The World Health Organization says it is way too early to predict the end of the coronavirus epidemic, despite an apparent slowdown in the number of new cases in China. The virus has killed more than 1,100 people and infected 44,600. The number of new daily infections reported by Chinese authorities hit a peak last week at close to 4,000. A top Chinese epidemiologist, Zhong Nanjian, said the epidemic should peak in China this month before subsiding. Meanwhile, the Chinese woman who was diagnosed with infectious diseases in Sri Lanka was scheduled to leave the hospital yesterday. But her departure was postponed, though she has recovered fully. Meanwhile, 15 persons who were hospitalized on suspicion of coronavirus in Sri Lanka are still receiving treatment at several hospitals island-wide. Dr. Sudat Samarvira, chief epidemiologist at the Epidemiology Unit of the Ministry of Health, says that their health is in a good condition. Israel Ambassador in Sri Lanka has emphasized that Israel is keen to strengthen bilateral relations with Sri Lanka. Israeli Ambassador to Sri Lanka Ron Malka made this observation when he met President Gotabe Rajapaksa. He added that Israel is ready to provide technological know-how to the island nation. The president recalled his visits to Israel on three occasions when he was the Secretary of Defense. The president said that Sri Lanka's agriculture needs to be modernized to generate sufficient income and attract the youth. MP Ranjan Ramanayake was further remanded until the 26th of this month. The order was issued when he was produced before the Nugegoda Magistrates Court today. The court rejected the bail application of MP Ranjan Ramanayake. The lawsuit has been filed in connection with the controversial tape incident and possessing unlicensed firearms. Additional Solicitor General Dilipa Piris informed court that MP Ramanayake had 63 telephone conversations with the judges. UNPMP Ranjit Madhuma Bandara alleges that a group of UNP members are trying to sabotage the new alliance, creating unnecessary trouble regarding the symbol of the alliance. He made this statement at a press conference held at the opposition leader's office. The working committee of the United National Party ended on Monday afternoon amidst many clashes. Speaking to the media after the working committee meeting, UNP General Secretary MP Akila Viraj Karyavasam stated that it is the UNP Working Committee that takes decisions on several areas, including nominations of candidates of New Alliance. The Department of Examinations is ready to make online application system for all school examinations. From Grade 5 scholarship examination, each student will be given a unique student number that will be linked to the student's exam results and extracurricular activities. Meanwhile, attention has also been paid to allow the use of calculators in GCE advanced level examination. For the first time in Sri Lanka, a chanting of the Tripitaka chanting with the participation of Bhutanese bhikkhus commenced at the Manelvatta Mahavihara premises in Kalaniya. This Tripitaka Dhamma recitation will last for four days. 31 Buddhist monks who came to Sri Lanka from Bhutan have joined in this ceremony. A beautiful procession replete with Bhutanese culture items was arranged to escort the venerable monks to the Manel Watta Mahavihara. With that, we are in ITN News. Have a pleasant day.